Previously on the Nerdy Ronin Network. You know, that movie with that guy and the actors in that one place. Happy, happy Dinosaur Monday. That's right. The weekend's over, unfortunately. The week has started. And, well, this is Dinosaur Week here at Nerdy Ronin Network. Because today, we're going to cover a dinosaur movie. Wednesday, dinosaur movie. Friday, the new dinosaur movie. <laughs> yes, I know. I'm all about surprises. Uh, maybe you can tell which movies we're talking about here. Maybe. I mean, if you're paying close attention, you might be able to figure it out. Okay, first things first. I hope you had a great weekend, and we're glad you're here. I'm always happy to see you on a very, very rainy and delightful Monday. <laughs> so, uh, I had a great weekend. It was my birthday. Uh... And it was great. I got lots of presents. If you'd like to see what those presents were, check out Instagram, the Nerdy Ronin. I think it's the Nerdy Ronin. Maybe it's Nerdy Ronin. <laughs> Let's check it out, shall we? <laughs> nerdy Ronin. The Nerdy Ronin. Search either one of them. You will find me. I'm right there, always posting some cool pictures. <laughs> Not really. Sometimes. But regardless, all the presents are cool, and I really enjoyed my birthday weekend. Uh, unfortunately, I made a terrible error and went and saw the Bob's Burgers movie yesterday. Um, you can hear my delightful thoughts on that next Monday. I uh, can't ruin Dinosaur Week with that movie. <laughs> Yay. All right. So, uh... Glad you're here. Like and subscribe if you haven't. In the description down below are some links to things that I use and or enjoy. Including coffee, to name a few. And <laughs> feel free to check them out. And uh, hey, they don't pay me. I just really like that stuff. So, today we're going to talk about Chris Pratt. I'm just kidding. Hey, he's part of it, but he's not the whole thing. Uh, Jurassic World from 2015, PG-13, two hours and four whole minutes of dinosaur goodness, if that's your jam. Now, I personally really like the original Jurassic Park movies, and more than likely it's because they're based on, or it is based on, two Michael Crichton novels. Now, Michael Crichton is a, was a great author, smart as a whip, brilliant dude, wrote great, great books and with some very unique and scientific ideas that he knew what he was talking about because he was brilliant. Unfortunately, he is no longer with us. Uh, he was also quite a good director in his own right. Uh, you should look into him. Look, if you haven't read the Jurassic Park and the Lost World books, the two books by Michael Crichton, you're missing out. So, first off, I would suggest that. But today we're not talking about that. We're talking about the reimagining, or I guess continuation would be the right thing. Um, Jurassic World is 20 some odd years after the original movies. A new theme park built on the original site of Jurassic Park, creates a genetically modified hybrid dinosaur, the Indominus Rex, which escapes containment and goes on a killing spree, blah, 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 blah. Look, we all knew that was going to happen. As soon as you sat down to watch this movie and the music started, you were like, huh, people are going to die in this movie. <laughs> because humans, their ego is too big. They thought, hey, I can do better than science. I can I can play God and make 
brand new dinosaurs. I'm sure it'll be fine. <laughs> Alright, look. A lot of people do not like this new trilogy. For whatever reason. And there's a list of reasons. I did not find this one so bad. This one, Jurassic World, is... It's not great, but A, it has Chris Pratt in it. And I enjoy watching Chris Pratt act. He's good at what he does. He plays a, a good character. He puts the work in. He's believable. And uh, he's about the only believable thing as far as characters go in this movie. The two young kids in this movie are just annoying. And all the other adults are annoying. <laughs> The only thing that I really, like, was drawn to and grabbed a hold of was Chris Pratt's character and his relationship with Blue, the Velociraptor. Uh, it made sense. <clears throat> it, it's, it's watchable. Now, as a fan of the originals, a lot of people are complaining that this is just, this is kind of like a wish version of the originals. Okay. Look, technology has upgraded since the originals were made. I find this movie watchable. It, it, it It's not believable in any way, shape, or form. But you kind of realize that when you sit down and watch a movie about dinosaurs. And I may, I may, as an aside, <laughs> review <laughs> the movie Velocipaster this week as a bonus. I don't know. I really want to watch it. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, Peacock, the streaming service, has a movie called Velocipaster. Uh, B-movie shenanigans all around. But it is Dinosaur Week, so who knows? <laughs> like, if you're looking for a good dinosaur rip people to shreds and the good guys win movie, this is it. Now, it, it's, it, it truly is watchable. The story's not terrible some of the acting is awful oh man look you've seen i'm sure the original jurassic park and if you have yeah yeah this continues the story if you will and it's watchable chris pratt makes it relatively enjoyable i didn't have to make a problem with it i'm sorry guys i know a lot of people think it's Disrespectful to the originals. I don't feel that way. It's the start of a solid trilogy continuing on from building on the foundation of the originals. Theoretically. Now, I have no idea how the third one's going to turn out. I have a, have a slight thought process on that, but who knows. Um, and I'm going to be honest. I have a feeling by Friday, my opinion is going to be, stop at this movie. But I don't know. We shall see on Friday, shall we? Shan't we? Shan't we? Yes, we shall. <laughs> you guys, it's been a hectic weekend. A lot of fun. A lot of good things happened this weekend, except for my horrible experience at the movies. <laughs> But I've got my Jurassic World Dominion shirt on because I want it. <laughs> and I'm going to see the new Jurassic World movie because I want a ticket. That's right. I win things. It just happens. Um, you know, I'm going to be honest. It, it, it's difficult in this economy to go to the movies, spend $15 for a ticket, $10 for a drink, $10 for popcorn, with the chance that what you're going to sit down and see is horrible. So, if I hadn't won these tickets to the last couple movies that I've gone to the movie, uh, the only reason I went to see the Bob's Burgers movie yesterday is because I won a ticket for it. So, um, uh, I would not pay $15 to go to the movies to watch Bob's Burgers as much as I enjoy the cartoon. Because I think the cartoon is great. Or at least it was. I haven't watched it in a while. I haven't watched the new stuff. So, who knows? 
<clears throat> so there you have it, you guys. That's my Monday discussion on Jurassic World. Um, there is a bit of chemistry between the two main characters. It's not horrible. The special effects are pretty good. Eh, other than that, it's just it's not it's not super special. I'm sorry, but it's watchable at least once. If you like dinosaurs, twice. <laughs> All right, from Bob, producer Squeaky Chair, Michael the microphone, and this big fat silly nerd who's a year older. Um, we'll see you on Wednesday when we talk about the second movie of the Jurassic World trilogy. <laughs> All right, you guys have a great week, or at least start of it, and we'll see you then. Adios, muchachos.